Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Giselle. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell button so that you will get updates for our new uploads. It's been a long time that I haven't done any sit-down videos, but for today, we're gonna have story time. So, story time of um, how did I met my husband and where did we met? And it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so stay tuned and listen because I have a very good advice to you. And do you know that my husband is my answered prayer? Like, he is my answered prayer. Like, he is the man of my dreams. <laughs> he is the right person for me. Like, he has everything that I wanted to be as husband. Like, he has everything. I have a secret why I found the right person for me. Like, all the qualities that I want and everything. So, I will be sharing that to you later. Okay. Now, it's the story time. When I was um, 21 years old, I was still super young. Yeah, 21 years old. Guys, I was already, like, thinking of settling down. Like, Settling down, like I'm so tired at that time. Like I was tired, like I was tired having just a boyfriend and then break up. Like I was tired of that game, like playing games like that. I was tired, like I, I had enough. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna do this anymore. And I like you know I said like Lord, I want that my next boyfriend is gonna be my future husband. I'm not gonna entertain anymore anything if it's just for. You know, if it's not gonna meet my husband, then I'm not. I'm done. Like, I'm not. I was like really ready. Char. I was really red, really ready. And then, and then, but I was not, but I don't want to settle for less. You know what I mean? Like, if I wanna get settled, I wanna get settled like properly. Like, with, like, you know, not just settling for, settle, settling for less no but you know i took my pastor's advice she always told us um to always pray for our future husband always pray for our future wife like that like pray for it in praying be specific so that's what we uh, well, that's what i did i was being specific ang pinagda pinagdarasal ko talaga kung anong gusto ko sa isang lalaki sa isang magiging husband ko kasi syempre magiging husband na yan now I'm, it's I, he's gonna be my future husband so i want the person that i really want like you know you know what i mean like the qualities and the characteristic you and then that's what i did i prayed and i was specific and for those who don't know i'm um christian i'm a born again christian my relationship and of course one of my one of my prayer that my husband my future husband should be a christian also that i have that have uh, the same faith as mine like the same belief as mine and you know love me for who i am like love kids because i love kids i want my future husband that would love kids also because i don't know i just love kids and you know, blah, 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 everything. It was kind of a lot, actually. It was a lot. Because, like, you know, God will still hear it even though you have a lot of prayer requests, a lot of, if you are being specific, the more specific you are, the better. You know what I mean? So, that's what I did. I prayed, I prayed. And, you know, it's hard to wait, actually. Like, waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> it's not easy to wait. It's hard to wait for that person because like when I look at my list when I pray and I look at when when I look at my list it seems so impossible <laughs> it seems it seems so impossible guys because like I was living at that time I was living in a small town and all the qualities that I was looking for a husband it's kind of hard to find you know in that Place, but I was being patient, you know, by God's grace, I was being patient because like, you don't know, like you might, you don't know, maybe your future 
wife or your future husband is just your neighbor or whatever <laughs> so i was wait i waited for months and months i was being patient and it's not easy i tell you that it's not easy but pray that god will stretch your patient and that's what i prayed every night lord give me more give me patient give, stretch my patient to wait to wait for the right time because your time is always the best time like god is never late and he's never advanced he's never late a second and he's never late a second he is always on time like once he will decide to give you on that particular time that boom he will get it and yeah i just waited and waited and waited and prayed and prayed and prayed lord give me patience to wait i know it's not easy but by your grace i can do it by your grace like on my list it seems so impossible but lord nothing is impossible with you that's what i prayed and you know actually i did not specify that i want a filipino or a foreigner like you know what i mean i did not specify that one because like it did not came to my mind actually and one day one day i was scrolling on facebook and you know on facebook if you like um page that particular page will appear in your news feeds right and then my husband jason liked the same page like we like the page on facebook um jesus daily so i like that page so every time they post something it appears on my news feed and also it uh, it appears in his news feed and it just in that particular day in that particular hour there's um they posted something that kind of you know like i just i don't know i just touched by it <laughs> i was just touched by it and i click that picture or whatever that they posted and i want to comment amen and i really forgot what it is already like that they posted but all i know is just i went to comment section and type amen and then i saw his name jason robertson and i told myself like i like his family name like it's just like suddenly like say i like his family name that's just what came into my mind and then you know what i sent him a friend request and without knowing who he is and because all i can see in his um profile is his profile picture is the cross and that's just what i see um i just sent him a friend request without like you know scrolling his facebook and of course it was private and then and then when i see it it just it says i even thought that he's in a high school because it says went to jefferson high school so i thought that he was and but when i send him a friend request it doesn't like it doesn't mean that i want to be with him or something because it just i just have the feeling that i want to ask how is he like i just want to ask how is he like you know what i mean like to be friends with him or ask him how is he that's just really what in my mind like how is he and then i sent him a message like how are you like that and then he said during and he said and he said that um well whenever we talk about it like how we met and he said that during that time he was he was um really needed some prayers really needed some companion because he was he was in that stage na malungkot that he was sad and it was you know i got the feeling that i want to ask him how is he and uh, that's what i did and then he replied and and then we just like you know and then we sent a message like you know we exchange uh, messages and you know like at that time like you know like i don't know if he was really for me at that time so i really thought that he was still a high school <laughs> and i'm not gonna settle for high school or something like that so it's just for a friend and then you know as as time goes by as days goes by we get to know each other you know i ask him questions and he's a christian and a good christian and he is 
his his father is a pastor and sorry and yeah and and he said i like you know when i ask him if he likes kids or something like yeah he does love he does love kids like he's good at it actually he's good at it and then yeah we just started like you know chatting chat we just continued chatting as days goes by and then you know starting to have that feeling a butterfly in our belly <laughs> a butterfly in our belly when we when i see his message like you know like I don't really sleep late at night. I usually sleep around 7 or 8 at night, like, you know, at night. And then by the time that we were chatting, <laughs> it's a miracle. Like, and I, I can able to stay awake until 12 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, because like, you know, the butterfly, butterfly in your belly feeling and then and then so excited to get up to wake up and see his messages Char! and then <laughs> and then what else um yeah like that's just how it's that's just how it started like i that's just how it started and look at us now we already have one baby <laughs> we already have a daughter and and i'm so blessed with my husband because like he's the best like he is the best. He is my answered prayer. Like everything that I was asking for, I prayed for. It's in him. Every qualities that I prayed for is in him. And and I did not even know that he's gonna be a foreigner. But God decided to give me a foreigner, to give me American husband. <laughs> yeah. And you know, culture difference, it's hard. But I'm gonna talk about that my next video but yeah guys that's just my, that's that's how we met he's my answer prayer he we met at the perfect time i found my forever as long as you just wait you know you wait and you wait for the perfect time you will just feel it that it's the right time you know what i mean like it's the perfect time because like who knows during that time during that hour particular hour that i was scrolling facebook and then just suddenly boom i said i want his family i like his family name and that's it that's just the start of it and it's just super simple and easy and that's it like we're happy we're happy now we're very happy we're a very happy couple and you know when god blesses you with your heart's desire like you're just happy of course no of course <laughs> you're just so yeah that's it uh, that's my experience and how we met and why did i find the right person what did i do there's a lot of praying there's a lot there's um there's a lot of praying and patience being stretched and more a lot of faith <laughs> yes a lot of faith guys and then yeah just trust just trust in god and trust that there is nothing impossible with him if you think that what you ask for what you're asking for is so impossible hey there is nothing impossible with God. It may seem impossible in our own sight, but never to God. Never to God. And I'm so blessed. And I know you are too. I'm not I'm not just the I'm not just the only one who are blessed. You are blessed also. Always remember that that you are blessed. God died for you. God shed a blood for you. If he blessed me with the right person, with the right husband, he will for sure bless you. And I hope you guys um, take my advice. When you pray, be specific. And hope you guys, for those who are looking for their forever, looking for their 
one true love just wait for the perfect time and pray and pray and pray i know i keep saying that but it just work you know it work it works it works on me for sure it will work on you don't settle for less god prepared the best for you yeah that's just my advice to you pray be specific in your prayer and then wait patiently i hope i hope this video will help you find your true love will help you find the woman or the man of your dreams i hope guys and i'm really i'm really hoping for that and if this video helps you you can comment below and share your experience it's good to share our experience and yeah that's it and hope you enjoyed watching and thank you so much and you guys have a blessed day bye bye